Hi guys and welcome to the Coolie Craft Corner. My name is Sierra and today I have a flip through of a journal called uh, For the Birds, I think is what I'm titling it. So this is actually a gift for Carol from Crinkle Path. If you guys don't know who Carol is, she is the first person on YouTube that I ever messaged about joining YouTube and helping me set up an account so I could join in in the um, Secret Santa Swap Christmas in July last year in 2023. And uh, so yeah, she was the first person I ever talked to off of YouTube and she was super encouraging and helpful in setting up my channel and she's just been a nice and encouraging influence in my life in general. So I wanted to make her something special for her birthday. Um, she's doing a giveaway birthday retirement challenge called 9 to 5 to 55. And so I thought, well, maybe I'll make something that she could tuck in postcards because people are entering in postcards for the giveaway. So going to just do a flip through and show you what I came up with. I also am going to mention hopefully where I received some of these items, um, if they were in happy mail, like this fabric and this fabric were from Angela, the traveling crafter. So Angela, thank you so much. So the reason this is titled for the birds is Carol really likes Eloise Wilkins' books, and I asked her if she had a copy of the one entitled Birds um, that she was an illustrator for, and apparently she did not. So I decided to make a whole book featuring the pictures from that, and I happen to have this book cover that has these cute canaries on it. So I built a spine, covered it, decorated it, and the inside is the original end pages. Um... So yeah, that's why it's for the birds. So it starts out with, this is one of the Eloise pictures that I couldn't salvage when I was cutting things down. So I just uh, collaged him on this envelope. Got some little floral trim here. And inside we have a chicken card, which I asked Carol and her favorite bird is chicken. Then you turn the page and you have this duck card and pretty much a blank page for writing on. This is part of the Eloise Wilkins book. Here we have an upper tuck spot with this bird. These are fussy cuts from a digital that I bought. I will uh, try to link the shop in my description box. So this is just an eagle um, postcard with a verse. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Isaiah 40, 31. I thought that was nice. Another picture from the Eloise Wilkins book. Here's another one of those fussy cuts on this cute purple, or purple, cute polka dot page, not purple. This is some fabric that I hauled. It's Holly Hobby, which Carol really loves. So I made just a little fabric flip here with that. Here's a page out of a bird, vintage bird book. Another one of the Eloise pages. We got some washi tape. I really tried to use more of my washi tape because I don't want to just have it sit. This is the middle of the first signature and it's all these bird houses where you can make like a family tree and so I thought that would be cute especially as her family grows maybe. She could do that if she wants. Put in a couple little buttons here in the center. Got some more birds. These actually look somewhat similar. Similar size shape and everything. Eastern Bluebird. This is an Everglades National Park. Not sure if Carol's been there, but Carol does like traveling around to different national parks. So, and uh, just want to promise I'm pre-filming this before I send it to her. So by the time I post this, she will have already seen it. So we got this page here with this cute little hummingbird card. Got polka dot page, this cute bird. This is from a school resource book. Um... Did I show that page? Oh, it got, oh, it was right here. Okay, we did. So this is from a school resource book where it was the same image on both sides. So it was perfectly um, centered for me to be able to bolster it into my set of pages. Got this cute, sweet image here, flips out. This little bird, this I made into a little pocket and the signature. And this is just a pretty coloring page if she, if she so chooses to use it. I thought that was cute. 
cute. So I put that in this little pocket here. So you start the second signature with this felt bird that I backed onto some paper to make a journaling card. And this are mostly trims from Carol Johnson that she had sent me when I told her I was gonna be working on some blue and brown projects. Um, I had the twine and the book page, but everything else was from her. So I made this little like mixed media type of um, nest for the bird on this beautiful foiled paper. There's the gold. So we got that. Next page, got this little puffy sticker of a chick in this little bag. We have a fussy cut bird. This is not bird, but it's Sesame Street, which Carol and me both really love. So I put one of those in there. This vintage um, game piece and this vintage ticket. Stuck those in the bag. Got another one of those cute bird photos. Most birds learn to fly, a little boy in a tree. Got some writing paper, another image. Got a whale tail tab. This is from Carol Johnson as well. Oops. Grabbed the wrong thing. Here we are. On the back is the belly band that you guys saw me make with the foiled paper as well. So the belly band was to go in this journal. Got a owl playing card and a 1980s Susie's little Susie's Zoo duck card. Sorry, I'm back. One of my kids needed me. Um, so yeah, that's what this belly band here is for. And they got this cute little pic picture of this girl with the baby bird. Turn that. Got a chick image here. Scarlet Tanager. If I'm saying that correctly. It's a beautiful looking bird. Got this little flip out spot. A little bit of rick rack and a stamp. I'm going to zoom in so you can see that. Got another the back side of the chick page. Then this image I used as the center with some buttons. Very pretty. Got more chicks, a little strawberry. I thought this was great for writing space. Writing space here with just a sticker. More writing paper, some more bird images. Got some goals. And then this part of the baggie. Got this really pretty applique bird. This puffin, which Carol will know why I put this in here. But this is from a vintage book. And this has a owl um, stamp and it's just a little fold out area where you can write. So I put those in there. This was in a journal that I had actually thrifted, but I thought I didn't know what to use it in. And I thought this would go cute and really perfect in Carol's journal. And then I made this tag. I get it up. From a printable, it folds out so she can write in it. I will try and uh, make sure I list this printable as well, along with the one that I used all the fussy cut birds from. And this stamp here is from another country, but I thought that was really pretty. Next page is the end of that signature and we start the next one. This here is some lace from Jennifer at Sun Drag, no, Sun Dragon Papers and Lace, I want to say. Jennifer's channel, I'm going to link her. I just um, used this, which is a painted card that my mother-in-law did, um, using a feather that she found local to us, and she painted over it, and I put a brad with some of that fabric I used on the spine. I made a little pocket on the back. That was the date my mother-in-law painted this, and I just put a card that was in another journal that I had thrifted. So put that in there, along with the lace belly band, which I won these lace snippet rolls that she had made in a giveaway. And I'm just trying to get it to show up on camera how pretty it is. It is beautiful. And then we got us a little sticker guy down there. Okay. Let's continue on. 
This page has this little boy feeding some ducklings. We've got a couple of goodies in here. We've got a nest card. Just a little guest check with little, little modifications. And then some blank writing paper. Thought it was pretty with the florals. We've got that. Writing page, little baby birds. Got some stripe paper. I know Carol in the past has said that she likes varying lengths and sizes of paper, so I tried to put that um, to mind when I was putting this together for her. More writing space. Got this little card. It says, just me saying hi. I think it says, just because. So she can take that off and uh, write underneath it if she wants. This cute little page. And I had to put the chickens as the middle signature because they're her favorite. Got some more buttons in here that kind of match the colors. Well, on this side, this is from Angela the Traveling Crafter. She had sent it to me. I believe it's some kind of playing card. And I just um, watercolor painted this little nest on some book page and made it into a pocket. And then this is a fussy cut bird. Again, from the fussy cuts that I will list down below. And some washi tape. Writing space. More of the bird images, more of the bird images, more writing space, little tiny fabric there, just to use some of my vintage fabrics. Mallard ducks, the back, which I think those might be some kind of coil. And then belly band, which is made from chick um, ribbon. And in here I have a pink and green. I thought it went great with the colors. Vintage postcard from 1933. Not sure if it's going to focus. Maybe. thought that was pretty because it had little birds on it. And then I'm sending her in here these little It's a Shower Holly Hobby um, brand new cards because she likes them. So that is how it ends last page and then the beautiful canaries all right guys that is my flip through carol if you're watching this i hope you really like it and uh yeah i'm gonna get this in the mail tomorrow and post it after she's already got it so all right guys thanks for tuning into this and i will see you guys in my next video bye